Hello, I'm Gretel Colleen and welcome to a special One Hour Big Brother. Last night, both houses heard who was nominated and would be up for eviction this Sunday. But they were also told something else. They were told to pack their bags. They didn't know why, but Big Brother had a fabulous plan to put into place. But before we get to all the amazing events that have been happening in the house over the last 24 hours, you should know that very early yesterday morning there was a major upheaval in the square house. Nothing new there, I hear you say, but this was off the scale, even for the square house. Let's see what happened. Are you ready? First again? Everybody sit behind ready Carlo sure. and I'll honestly tell you. It's three in the morning in the square house lounge room and the housemates are still up chatting about life and the universe in general when Belinda stuns them with a very private story that's been troubling her. I'd love to sit next to you and tell you. I don't want to think of something bad and if it's not bad. The story she tells is a revelation that the house finds hard to believe but Belinda assures them it's true. A short time later Belinda heads off to bed but the others are too shocked to be tired. Straight away. You guys didn't say anything and I said, look, Belinda, I, I don't like, want to know. If you want to tell, tell. Wait, um, yeah, you opening up. We're all for opening up. Dude. But did you think it was going to be that Dude. heavy? Dude, you know it was going to come out. Like that heavy? Yeah, bro. It's this serious for me that I don't want to be in the house while she's in here anymore. They're extremely unsettled and Sax and Claire and Carlo go to the diary room to discuss the issue with Big Brother. What the, the thing that she told us is so unbelievably, unbelievably serious that it, it's just, now that everyone knows, it's just, oh, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't really don't know. It's now nearly dawn, but the housemates are in no mood for bed. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with her, so it's got nothing to do with us. It's just someone that's close to her. Yeah, and we just, we heard some details. That's all. Details yeah. that we didn't need to hear. That doesn't do anything for my imagination when a movie will Oi. scare me. And Big Brother's reaction was pretty... Yeah. Yeah. He was pretty Sorry, disturbed. That's all we can bring you about that incident in this time slot. For viewers outside Queensland, we hope to bring you more details in Big Brother Uncut on Thursday night at 9.30. Legal restrictions in Queensland prevent any further coverage there. Anyway, that conversation went on until the wee small hours. Maybe some wanted to leave the house. Maybe Big Brother's next move would be a welcome relief. The square housemates, minus Belinda, are still awake when the sun comes up. Thanks for tonight. Hang out, This morning. Let's go, bed. Hang out, bed. Yeah, let's go. I caught it, bed. I caught it. Thanks, I caught it. Ah, no worries, come here. Let's all go to bed. Yeah. It's going to be quiet. It's been an emotional roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, we made it to a sunrise. See? Sunrise, huh? It's a healthier scene next door where the housemates are getting into a fitness routine. Joanne sets off on her morning jog around the tiny backyard. Which way are you going? I don't know. I need my motivational person. Start her up. <laughs> There's Jo, she's out in front still. She's looking good to win this, I think. You'd say so. <clears throat> I haven't seen her beat in the last three times she's been out here. No, and it's perfect conditions for this. Maybe a little touch warm. I think I can just see the person behind her starting to catch up. Yeah. She looks, looks exactly the same as her, though. <laughs> Big crowd in here today, cheering her on. She's kept a pretty constant lead of about 17 seconds. Mum and Dad seconds. in the stands. <laughs> She's, uh, oh, yeah. she, what's she doing? No, it's the reversal of direction Oh, now. that's right, yeah. It's so, up to the 40 laps. Like the old skating rink rule, mm. where uh, all competitors must reverse direction at the given time. Of course, it does make it harder to keep track of who's out in front, but um, with this amount of competitors, it's uh, not going to be a problem. And, and the technology today, of course, is, um, allows us to keep track of that sort of thing as well. And we'll be back to Talking Stupid just after these messages. Although he's still in his pyjamas, Ben's decided that after beating eviction, he could be in the house for a while. And a good way to pass the time could be to get fit. So it's 100 laps, isn't it? Yeah. Are you, are you doing 100 laps? Yeah, I'll do more than 100. I'm not just Bobby, he can't even do one. 7K. 100 laps. I want to see you do it. Yeah, well. Huh? Let's have a bet. Jamas. 
Bitch, I'm just now. Gonna put on me a, a if he can do it or not. Bitch, you can't do it. Reggie, you've got me all. Get some scam going. Hey, Reggie, Reggie, you've got me all wrong. Okay. You're weak. Oh. You're wrong. Do you know that? Don't you dare do that again. Just pushing it over here. Yeah. You've got me all wrong, Reggie. What? No, you're weak. You're weak. Don't try and reverse psychology on a professional reverse psychology. You are, you're weak. You've got to think of another way to encourage me. Mm. Well, have a bet then. A bet? Yes. Well, I bet you King Island's in Victoria. All right then. What's, okay. What do you got to do? And if I'm right... You won't be. you got to... Um, you won't be. Do 100 laps. Regina and Ben have been having an ongoing argument about whether King Island is in Victoria or Tasmania. But in the Big Brother house, how do you resolve it? Do you, do you have an atlas at all available? Um, not one that we can um, provide oh. there in the house. Uh, oh, it's just because... Um, me and Ben reckons that King Island belongs to Victoria and I'm trying to tell him it's Tasmanian. And I, want, and I need to <laughs> finish the debate on it. I don't think that that's something Big Brother can help you with. <laughs> OK. This is Big Brother. Housemates, we need all of you to uh, wake up now. Is the hot water on? Two minutes. Up there. Oh. Sorry, guys. No, you're right. Jeez. Where's my car? After the break... When you get up, pack your bags. Welcome back. You're watching a very special Big Brother. Now, I've already told you that two housemates from each house will be swapping, but it's actually more complicated than that because Big Brother's not known for giving without taking. But I think I will tell you more about that later. In the meantime, yesterday in the Roundhouse, unaware of Big Brother's next move, the talk boiled down to one of those rudimentary conversations which basically translates to, does my bum look big in this? Yes, they were talking about weight loss. Dimples. You don't have anything. I do, so Oh, right. you do not. I do, look. Stretch marks. Can anyone else? Can any, I've got stretch marks. Can anyone That's else? That's from um, when I left school. I got fat, like, put on a lot of weight when I left school. A stretch marks just from getting... How much weight did you put on? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I have big boobs and everything. Well, how, how much in kgs? Go. I reckon I was... Probably 58, I reckon. 58, and what are you now? 47. So you've lost 11 kilos. That was in, when I was in school. So, but you, you've I never mean, been when that... I left, when I left school, I just, that's what that's from. I just put on so much weight when I, when I left school. I was 32. Mm, I know, yours is ridiculous. Have you, you could have been on all those, from those um, weight, Jenny Craig ads. No, I carried it all the way. I carried it over everywhere. Mm. I was about is four it, foot it, high on about... If you pick up like a 25 kilo bag of salt or something... I used, mm. to, have a, I used to have a thing beside my desk mm. and it was a weight. And I just used to pick it up every day. It was a big doorstop and say, that's what I used to carry around. Mm. And it just cannot be good for you. And that was at 107. And that, um, that's 17 kilos on top of me now. Mm. And I'm, I'm 10 to 12 kilos overweight now. But that's you amazing, put another 20 on top of that. Uh, that's a, a lot of weight. Why did you get so big? Just burning the candle at both ends, just getting All to work at six. Getting to work at six. That's what. And then. Um, Do they just not put you on foot patrol for a while? Oh, well, so I was <laughs> office bound day. I, I don't wear uniforms, I haven't worn uniforms for five, no, for more than five years, six years. So you're just sitting there investigating crime, you're just sitting there going out arresting people. Eating. E and eating at the worst times, yeah. you know, doing OPs where you're sitting there and you're just in the middle of the night sitting watching a joint so you get a pizza brought in and you're drinking a lot of grog. 
essentially. Talking yes. of his past weight problems inspires Ben to make good his promise to go for a jog. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not the word. I'm gonna say it. I'm, 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 I'm following to watch. Oi, I'm ben, watching. What are those things down below your knees? Get out. Are they apparently legs? See you. Look at those, they cut right. Look at those. See you in 5k, people. Are you doing 100? Oh, yeah. well, this is, this is going to be seen a bit weird. It's time for Big Brother to announce the nominations. And this week, there's a sting in the tail. This is Big Brother. This week, there are two nominees for eviction. Leah and Daniel. Tomorrow, I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. When you get up, pack your bags. Up the houses. Oh, yeah, is that's this what doing. not brilliant? That's what they're doing. What? Do you reckon they're separating us? Yeah, of course they are. They're separating us. Yeah, they're separating us. I love the way he was so cheeky. I've got a surprise for you. When you wake up tomorrow morning, pack your bags. <laughs> what? How exciting. I love it. Oh, how pumped am I? Can we, can we pack your four then? What if I we all get evicted? Get... I am so excited. What? I wouldn't have picked that. It's lucky you told me. What? That you're so excited. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I wonder what the surprise is. I wonder what the surprise is. At least we've got a surprise. At least it's not boring day Pack your today. bags. It's a surprise. They can't be managing us. We've just bought all our food. He's got me in knots. OK, I've got distance skipping. I've never I'm felt loving. so... Are you loving? Anakin. I love what they've done to Ben. Anakin I love it. Confused, I love it. Wrecked. I can't get enough of it. Oh. Look, he wants to strangle himself. Oh. He can't bear it. I've just never, ever, ever thought that... I thought that your comfort zone was you. Not... I thought no. you created your own comfort zone. Uh, no, no. Yeah. You just don't know. I think, I think we've learnt enough in the last two weeks to know that we know nothing at all. Ah, yes, the day started with shifting weight and, as you'll see finished with shifting housemates. There has been so much for our housemates to deal with in the last 24 hours and don't let's forget some of them have also had to cope with nominations for eviction this Sunday. So to evict Leah, phone 1902 555572 or SMS Leah to 188 To evict Daniel, phone 1902 555562 or SMS Daniel to 188 Legion Interactive calls cost 55 cents, including GST. Mobile phones may attract a higher rate. Voting ends at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time on Sunday 18th of May. MIG SMS votes cost 55 cents. SMS eviction lines close at 12 midday Australian Eastern Standard Time on Sunday 18th of May. For terms and conditions, visit bigbrother.optus.com.au. Welcome back. This is Big Brother's special one-hour Tuesday night show. Tonight is all about housemate swapping. So let's look back at how both houses coped with the news. This is Big Brother. This week, there are two nominees for eviction. Come on. Belinda and Carlo. <laughs> Tomorrow, I have a surprise for you. Thank you. When you get up, pack your bags. Everybody. <gasps> yeah! Thank you, babe. I told you. Yes. Yeah. Wow, we're going, we're emerging. I told you, I told you. I'm sitting there. Oh, just cool. I just myself. Dude, told you're you, not going. We're not going. Neither of you two are going anyway. No, it'll be one of them, See? now. Wow. Tomorrow's a big day. We should dress up nice. 
Eternals. Yeah, no, if, we're, if it's, we're joined together, this show just changed a lot. As Belinda heads for the bedroom to be on her own, Carlo works out that you don't have to be unpopular with too many of your fellow housemates to end up nominated. It's about the one point is now. I just thought of it. I just thought, someone's going to get done just by like two votes, not even. Someone's going to get done. Someone's so good in the group. Can you get torn down by one bit. Young, I've never experienced that. The way I think it is, if I merge and I get a week, then I want to go on Sunday. Because I'll, that's what I said. Remember, I said, I said, if I get to the other house, then you have to. Dude, you get to the other house, you won't be going anywhere. It just, it just, the way the cookie crumbled, like a but not like a, you know, time to go, car. It's your time to go. No, it's like a, someone fought with me to make it turn that way, you know? It's the only thing I don't like. See, this is gay because that like, would happen to someone like me. Like I'll take it straight away, you know. I, had a, I can handle them. So. Gonna happen. But I never ever thought that you would become. De Since day one, I, do you know what I mean? I thought you were one of those people that would not fly through easily or fly under the radar, but no, not, not have that. a it's just like... nomination way. Yeah. Dude, this is, could be our last night in this house. Pack your bags. Pack your bags, we're going on the trip. But why would they? Oh is that what he said? Pack your bags in the morning. Oh my god, that is so bad. That's like her getting away. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're not going to make it about four or five if times. If I go and she stays, oh, oh my Dude. god. Dude. Like, you know, I want to go, as in, like, see Tracy. Yeah, but dude, you don't want to go. Dude, but on the side. I want to last at least a month. Dude, I think the people at home would be pretty. Yeah, but what are they seeing, though? For us? Just... Both houses have guessed that packing their bags means they may be going to meet the neighbours. Yeah. Um, did you get nominated again? No. <laughs> I'm an annoying 18-year-old. Everyone wants me out. We'll have that champagne yeah. in the bar yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry? We'll yeah. have the champagne in the Daniel. bath tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, next door, I've been told to pack their bags too. They've been told what? To pack their bags. He goes, Leah, 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 I might see you tomorrow. <laughs> OK. Mm. They yeah, they will. Toey. They'll be trying to bloody, uh, so just be prepared. You're more suggestive than Joe as well. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, Playful you're a sexier and thing, you know. Playful and a... Joe's I'm an old so conservative. I don't know what you mean. In a good way. That you're there to have fun, you're there to play, you're going to get drunk, yeah. get loud, you know I mean? joke. Mm. You'll know you, you be a sitting yeah. target for a couple of young blokes bit. rather than her who's... Because sort of she's got the boyfriend of six and a half years. I've got a boyfriend of three years, years as well, but sort of, yeah. the age and all that sort of thing. Not in a bad one, I'm just saying, get, uh, get ready. Wow. It'll be fun. Yes. You want to be... I'm the big yes. brother, OK? okay. No, do you know what I mean? You leave my little girl alone, there'll be trouble here. Will you take care of me? Yeah. You better. You have to start sleeping in my bed, I think, so we can make sure that no one gets near you. <laughs> At bedtime, both houses speculate that they could be sleeping somewhere else tomorrow. Good night. Good night, little psycho boy. Good night, Carlo. Uh, dude. I hope we made your house tomorrow. I just want to pull. That's all I care about. I'll just swap some of us, I reckon. Oh, they might just swap houses. No, they'll just swap some people with some. just dumb. I'll be like, oh, I don't want to get out of here. That is the stupidest idea you've come up with. Well, I might hit the hay as well. Mm, me too.
So last night the housemates were in a speculation frenzy, but they heard nothing more from Big Brother until this morning. And then... Day 17 in the Big Brother house starts like any other, with the housemates cosy in their beds, little realising how much their comfortable world is about to change. This is Big Brother. I'd like all housemates please to wake up now and pack your bags. What about showers? Nice babes. <sighs> Benji. Start packing. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good morning, Ben. Oh, good morning. We have to pack now, though. Oh, yes. Good morning, housemates. Good morning, good morning big brother. brother. This morning I'm going to call for volunteers. I'd like a boy and a girl, from those of you who aren't nominated. Oh. Oh. Me. Me. Your task will be to be intruders in the other house. <laughs> Before you decide, you should know that there are risks and rewards associated with being oh, intruders. Yeah. <laughs> the risk will be that one of the four intruders that will cross over today will be evicted at some time the reward will be that those of you who aren't will not be eligible for nomination the following week. You have five minutes to decide. I'll decide. Oh, oh to do it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll just go. Yeah. Ben and Regina don't hesitate to volunteer. Are you guys happy with that? Yeah. Yeah, you sure? Approach? <clears throat> no, I'll be OK. Thank you. It would seem that while some housemates have longed to swap houses for the last two weeks, the reality is actually more frightening. Maybe this is a case where it's better the devil you know than the one you don't know. We'll be back with lots more after the break. Welcome back. You're watching a special one-hour Big Brother. The story so far is that Big Brother asked a boy and a girl from each house to volunteer to swap houses. Big Brother told them that no one who was nominated for eviction this week was allowed to volunteer. He also told them that of these four volunteers, one would be voted out. Let's see how this affected the square house. Good morning, housemates. Good, Good morning. morning. This morning I'm going to ask for volunteers. I'll go. I'll go with it. I'll do whatever I have to do. I need a boy and a girl. I need them to be from those of you who aren't nominated. You're going to be intruders next door. There will be a risk associated with this and there will be a reward associated with this. The risk is that one of the intruders will be evicted at some point. No, I'm not up for that. I've already come in late. I'm gonna... The reward will be that if you're not evicted, you will be immune from nomination the following week. You have five minutes to make a decision. Um, I'm not keen. Well, that's only... Uh -huh. I would do it. I honestly know, but I can't. I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah, he only lived once. Let's do it. I don't think I want to do it, Big Brother. I'm not a volunteer. I'm, I have to do it. I'm not volunteering yeah. for it. Claire, the rules of this were set before the nominations were known um, last night, so it's not about singling you out. Yeah, no, I know, but I understand not, the position. I'm not volunteering either. But it's not something I would choose to do. If one of the other boys wants to take your place, and you can come with that arrangement in the next few minutes. I oh, will accept that. There's no way I'm going to worry about that. What do I do? I do it? Oh, it's full of <laughs> <laughs> Would you do it? Kiss me. I wouldn't volunteer. It's a big risk that one of you two go just because of this as a non normal one out of eviction. Game just changed. What is your decision? Claire and Jamie. To the diary. <laughs> Thank you. Are you okay with that? Benjamina? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I miss you, Benjamin. 
Did you mean that? Someone has to wow. have a crack. Straw on the straw. How do you feel? Because you love going next okay? door. Yeah. Oh, it's more so uh, it's a challenge. Because you actually volunteered before you. I'm just worried that you, um, sorry. That you volunteered you? before you knew what it was. Yeah, are you still up for it, Rhys? It's challenges. It's a challenge. So I wonder when it. we'll see you again. Mm. Party time. Sooner rather than later, we hope. The reward is that if you don't get kicked out, then um, the week after, you can't be voted for. Are you sure you don't mind? Right. No. <clears throat> Good luck, Jamie. Thanks, stud. I'll see you soon. Make anyway. sure to yell over the fence, mate. Yeah, totally. Dude, That's if right. they send out as a saucy blonde, they'll just go, hey, hey. Oh, me and him are sleeping in the same bed. Saxon is explaining to the others why he chose to stay put in the square house. It's smart though, because think about it, you're going to have two groups merging, and within those two groups you're going to have two, the other traders. two people that have crossed over and will feel a loyalty to this and a loyalty to this, so their votes will be the most important votes in the entire thing. If mm. Think about votes. that. So, Big Brother has given the housemates only 20 minutes to farewell friends of the past fortnight. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm so... Okay. See, Chris, if you're back down there. Oh, tell me up. See the other end. Yep. See the other end. See, Big Pat. Yeah, mate. See you in a bit. Yeah. It's okay, sweetheart. See ya. Okay. Okay. God. Good luck, guys. Like, oh, wow. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Good guys. guys. <laughs> See you in two weeks. See you, buddy. See you. Nothing. Where's my little brother? That's that sick. Good luck, Jamie. Run him up, Claire. Just shag, yeah. shag the me yeah. out. Look after yourself, dude. No you're problem. Right. I wasn't going to cry. Just be yourself, man. You'll be Try sweet ass. Okay. You're okay. Because <laughs> I'm gay. You're just going to see exactly. Arena soon. Here we go, guys. <laughs> so you shut up. Oh, let's clear. do this. See you guys. Okay. See you guys. Bye, guys. See you guys. Bye. See you guys. See you next week. See ya. Come on, Jamie. See you next week. See you soon. Last night, the most stressed people in the house would have been the nominees. But tonight, they're possibly the most relaxed. To evict Belinda, phone 1902 or SMS her name to 188 To evict Carlo, dial 1902 or SMS Carlo to 188 Welcome back. The plot is thickening. Big Brother's not only swapping bedfellows, he's hung a possible eviction notice over their heads. I know he has another exciting card up his sleeve, but before he shows us that, let's see what happened when the housemates crossed over. I wonder where they'll come from. No, no, no. Oh. Watch that. There's a door squeaking. Oh, yeah. Jamie. Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. You're the Leah. Oh, Jamie. Hey. 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 Give me a hug. Oh, Hi, Jamie. Like How are you? Chrissy. Chrissy. Wow. Hello. How are you? Hey. Um, Belinda. Hi, Belinda. Who? Belinda. Belinda. Ben. Belinda. Ben. How are you? Nice to meet you. I'm Regina. Hi, Regina. Hello. It's a mess. Sorry, guys. Hello. <laughs> oh, goodness. I knew it was you. How are you? How are you doing? You good? Carla, let's go. Awesome. Are you the original duo, yeah? Saxon, how? Hello. 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 Yeah, first one, right? How many is this? Yeah. Because yeah, we've only got, we lost one. Because Irina went last so on Sunday, yeah. Uh, six, Same amount of you guys, but, but we lost one. Because we've lost two. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah. Where are they? Hey. Oh, hey, what's it? Dan. Hi, Dan. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is bizarre. Is this is it. So, is it different? Yeah. This is like the rich house. She had no choice. Why? Why? What have you guys got? Have you got showers inside? No, it's just no, outside. The house is clean up. Yeah, we, always, we thought your house was a rich house. Stop. So what have you got? We can about your house. Have you got fire? Yeah, then. It's exactly the same size. Ours is different, different uh, size. Ours is bigger. Hey, this is a nice backyard. Our house is only about as big as the little floor space you've got in the lounds. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. How small is so different? Are you serious? Yeah. It's very small. Oh, uh, let me just... Like the bigger house. Yeah. Showers around. Yeah, but what? the boardwalk around the sand pit. So ours is better than yours. Yeah. 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 But you might think that, your, that ours is better than yours because it's different. Because the grass is greener on the other side. And we have a statue in the, the middle of our sand pit. Are you the 18 year old? Yeah. Me too. I'm confused. You're younger than me. <laughs> well, I was cursing. Well, um... Because I was asking died. your brother. Oh. Okay, all I want to know is if I'm the youngest. Because you are the youngest. <laughs> um... There's a circle. Blue walls just there. Oh, I, yeah. I, I told you, there's circles. The in your house? Like, Has the lounge is not quite sure. Um, so we've got yellow no, and No, 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 they're the same. Are they? Mm. Are you married? No, I got a girlfriend. Then, just for some like you got a chip? Yeah. I'm the oh. only single dude here. I was the first. I was there 24 hours on my own, and the first girl they tipped no, in was no Ralph. Just there just that's what happened because yeah. yeah I, can, you know what it I heard like you guys having a party the first night. How many yeah. were come in the first night? Five. Six, five. 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 And then, and then he came in Monday. Yeah. How many came in that first night? Oh, for you guys? No one, just me. You were there by yourself yeah, all night for 28 yeah. hours. So what'd you do? Nothing, slept. What, what got theories did you guys come up with? Well, there's a girl missing. Tamara. Yeah, yes. Tamara. Tamara's missing. I'm guessing She's going to be an intruder. She's coming in today. We're told, guessing it's an intruder was... after we've merged, because by the end of the week we'll all be together anyway. But do you reckon we are going to merge? Yeah. Yeah, because we're not each other. Is it the The third place. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there would be. Yeah. So he gave it away. Cool. <laughs> Oh, so you're yeah, copper, ain't it? Yeah, I'll retire. I'll resign. Because I can remember sitting in the car. I swear those drugs are not mine. Yeah. 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 That was sitting in the car. Yeah. And all I can remember is hearing this. I'm a manipulator. I'm yeah, a user. I'm I'm alone. I'm taking screen. all of them in the house with me. Yeah. I just went, you're <laughs> <laughs> He's not so clever, is he? Did <laughs> 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 Where are you all from? Saxon! Jamie! You got this boyfriend, which is... Rick. What's going on? <laughs> I thought you were going to get on my car! Yeah! I could have been bothered! You're not seeing the only girl in here. Sorry! <laughs> There'd be too much tension! <laughs> oh, wow. Can you see anything? No, how cut would, wait, how cut would leaving, Jamie... How cut scared. would Jamie be? Well, he just goes... I thought you were coming over and Jamie. <laughs> Jamie would be shattered. Jamie's been fantasising about Leah for the last two weeks. Has he met her? No, nah, because I've just been. <laughs> and he's <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> and he's disappointed. Is she just loud as all? Loud? That's why he's gone um, in the dark. She can't cook or anything, can she? No, she can't do anything. She just gets in the way. No. Do you want to see our bedroom? Those the lights, that's us. We've got a cousin yeah, knowing a someone. Yeah, ours is a lot sort of oh, roomier there. Like, that? Yeah. Insane. Yeah, crap. This is our bedroom. I knew his ex-girlfriend. Was this what yours looks like? No. What does yours look like? That's right. We yours saw this brighter. when I was up on the stage. Really? They, they had the round ones, yeah, and ours are, oh, ours are um, just sort of rectangle. The yeah, rectangle yeah. house. Yeah. Sorry, someone's going to have to bunk yeah, with me. Not, not round. Well, just I've got the double bed. Okay. So, are you cool with that? Yeah. Whoever? Yeah. Right. Your house is more artistic. Oh, yeah. Are you all saying What? I'm just... Uh, do you want to organise beds? Yeah. Well, there's... There's this one and the two ends. Leah's got the double bed and, and is happy to yeah, share. One and one and Jamie's doubles. in her sights. Well, yeah. Well, they're both empty, aren't oh, okay. they? Hey, I'm not stressed. Well, whoever, I don't mind. We'll have the end one. Unless that's right. You just want to take the double. That's cool. All right, you're with me. Oh, really? I'd be like this and he'd be like just there going. Yeah. Smart. It was so funny. Next door, the Lindas found a new friend too. Okay, come and see the bedroom. I'm just about to sweep it. I know. Didn't open the fridge, there's nothing in it. This is, it's a blue ice about here, dude. Gone. No, it's good that she got a friend now, the other bird. These two are probably the free ones. I'd yep. go more that one. That 
probably have to do you use or, or wash all the yeah, linen we should and do it. Yeah? yeah, we have once. Yeah, only once. <laughs> I will do that. Yeah. And everyone's lying. I'm not a lesbian. I've got a partner. So, oh, I'll, I'll like sleep up there in there then, because I'm in the loo's right here. Yeah, loo's here. Yeah. Yes, this is our house. After the break, Ben's brought a souvenir for the boys next door. That's what she wore to her. that party thing? Yeah. As a top? No, bottoms. Welcome back. We know there's a housemate swap going on today. We've seen them pack. We've seen them meet their neighbours. Now let's see how they're settling in. In the square house, Reggie and Belinda find they have a lot in common. Are you used KMS? That's an awesome shampoo. Yeah. Mm. So you came in here on the first night? Yeah. All right. <laughs> But uh, with this house has got very, very big personalities, hey? They're very much to themselves. Like, yeah. um, everyone loves very... to be loud. Oh, we can and, know. And we know that charge, he's allowed. But everyone wants to be in charge, so... Oh, OK. You sort of, if you keep your distance from those people, you're all right. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Big personalities. They don't need to be told what to do, otherwise you're in trouble. Yeah? <laughs> Because I'm usually a loud person and I haven't been in here, otherwise there'd be so much conflict. No, joke. Really? Yeah. And when I hear Leah, I'm like, oh, she's so lucky she can be loud. She just, would, she she just wanted to be in here so bad. Like, in here? Yeah. Oh, it's not that exciting here at all. She thinks that you're all having so much fun. No. And no. And her being young as well, like yeah, she's made it that's hard, true. I think, on her. Because what, how old are you? I'm 29. 29, yeah, yeah. you're the same age as Vincent, yeah. Yeah. Um, how does this go? Uh, oh, my baby, my honey's gonna spew and I'm sleeping with the boy. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> so is mine, actually. Yeah? <laughs> She'd be oh my God. Have you had a girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she but uh, she suggested that we go on a break for Big Brother. I was like, oh, oh, how long have you been together for? So you'd broken up? Off and on for oh, a year and a half. Oh. I've been with my boy since three. Time. Three years? Yeah. You're beating me to everything, huh? Sorry? So we were together for five months. Then we split up because my parents were giving me a bit of trouble. Yeah. For something. And then we got back together at. Oh, Six or seven months later. Yeah. And about what January the start of this year, I think. Since. Yeah. Oh, so you're having a break now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But still, like you still, you know, don't want to hurt her or anything. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. I'm still cautious. Yeah, for sure. Still cautious. Definitely. But yeah, she said I won't do anything until you do. <laughs> oh, okay, it's my call. So it's my call. She will know. She will know. So it's my call. Better. There's no use stressing over it. Okay. Oh my God, it's hot. Is it hard missing your hubby? You missing your hubby? Um. At these lights, I'm not taking. That's not me. I'm missing my missus back. Oh yeah, like yeah, like. I'm, I'm thinking about everyone, but I'm yeah. not at that. So I'm not at that stage yeah. where I'm. Yeah, but I came in to hear that Mrs. Is young, Canadian, right? I was just telling her before, and... But, dude, now you're um, one, like, put number one. Like, she's Canadian, right? Well, and she was... Whole, uh, we were living here together. Then she moved over to get all her stuff, basically, and fix, figure out her life there to come live with me. And a week before Big Brother starts, she was supposed to move here with me. And then Big Brother started, so, so, so she? she's in Canada still. Oh, So, right. that's the bitching about See, that's weird. So I'm just thinking about it the whole time, and like... Dude, like... She's like my mate, all right? You just hang out, you know what I mean, all the time. We can just say together. Like, I like hanging out with her. It's not like I'm forced. Like, the only reason I hang out with her is because I want to So I think it's because, like, I'm really good friends with her. And this six months, she's an absolute top chick, plays sports, everything, you know what I mean? Like, and I don't think I ever meet anyone like that again. That's what I'm saying, like. Uh. So that's why it's and, and So as soon as you get out of here, is she coming out? She's, she's moving out. She's already applied for uni at my uni, second semester. So where are you from again? Melbourne. Melbourne. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, Deacon is in Berlin. Yeah, yeah Deacon. School. Yeah, it's good school. And what's your name again? Carlo. Carlo. Okay. 
The youngest members of the Roundhouse are getting closer by swapping house stories. I generally talk about conspiracy theories and yeah, us too. Yeah. yeah. We're either talking about that or just yelling at Carlo for fighting in bed next to Vincent. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what, um, yeah. This one here, Ben. Daniel. Ben or Daniel? Ben. He was the one who was always fighting. Oh, really? Daniel said he was. Oh, him too. He does, like, he's the polite fighter. Like, last, like, yesterday, Ben was walking around all day and all night scratching his and then, like, and I was sitting on the end of his bed last night. I go, "What is it? You got like really itchy nuts today, or something?" And he just, <laughs> and he just started like, farting on me. And I was like, "Yeah." The Carlo's got to have it every time he farts. <laughs> just scratch his ass and go for a smell. Sorry. Right. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Carlo sounds gross. <laughs> Oh, did you make that, did you? Joe did. These are what she wore to our... That's what she wore. Oh, yeah, thing. That's what she wore to it's our... That party thing. Yeah. As a top? No, the bottoms. Who, Joe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, serious? she didn't. She had undies That's on her waist. No, nah, no undies. That's what she wore. Is that it? No she, undies. No undies. And she wore a little top thing as He'll well. He'll sniff it. He'll sniff that. I just did. So I got her to sign it. No and undies, bro. Are you serious? And she fits in that. She fits into that quite easily. That's tough. But there are more surprises in store for the housemate intruders. Ben and Regina. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I told you there'd be risk and a reward associated with being an intruder. Yep. The rest of the housemates know that the reward, one of the rewards is immunity from nominations. But your secret is that the intruder who's invicted will receive a reward too. $10,000. <laughs> Bloody hell. You may not tell anyone this, you may not actively seek eviction. You may not behave out of character. If you do behave out of character and you are the one evicted, you will not receive the extra reward. I told you there'd be risks and rewards associated with being an intruder. Yes. Yep. The rest of the housemates know that one of the rewards is immunity from nomination. Yeah. But your secret is that the evicted intruder will receive a reward too. Ooh. Oh, OK. Wait, only we know, or...? Only you know. So we can't tell them? That reward will be $10,000. Oh! You may not tell anyone this. OK. You may not seek eviction. You may not actively no. seek to annoy people. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. God! Oh, my God! If you behave in your character that we know, if you keep the secret, and you are the person evicted, that will be your reward. <laughs> oh, God! So are you guys calm enough to go outside now? Yeah. 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 OK. We have to wipe a bit of a grin off Ma the Maybe one yeah. more hug and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well done, James. This is excellent. Oh, that big brother is a tricky fellow. Just look at what he's done to the housemates. Moment by moment, tension is building. I can't wait until the wall is removed next week. Only six days to go. You should not miss a thing. So make sure you catch every 7 o'clock show. I'll see you Thursday night at 9.30 for Uncut. And don't miss The Insider with Tim Ferguson on Friday at 7.30. Now, I'll leave you with the numbers for this week's four nominees. To evict Leah, phone 1902 or SMS Leah to 188 To evict Daniel, phone 1902 or SMS Daniel to 188 To evict Belinda, phone 1902 or SMS her name to 188 To evict Carlo, dial 1902 or SMS Carlo to 188 
program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.